We're looking at a 1967 42 foot Chris Commander. The aft cabin motor yacht. This is a classic. This is really a classic. I've had this boat for 10 years. It spent most of its life at the Baltimore Yacht Club on Sioux Creek, right off the Chesapeake Bay. Been there since 1969. Repowered in uh, in the late 1990s. It does have some problems now. The right motor is locked up. The left motor ran fine last year, and so did the generator. We started to redo it. The front cabin and V-berth, as you can see, is just about complete. New cushions and everything up here. The rest of it is, is incomplete and will need to be redone. But this is a, a you know a great boat, great foundation for restoration. These boats originally came with uh, an imitation wood walls that look kind of like this cabinet here. We just painted those. It does have wood real wood trim inside, but again it'll have to be finished. The hull is great. It was out of the water. Uh, in 2000 and the, the fall of 2012 the bottom was painted new zincs put on it this is a bathroom in the front head it has electrosan systems in it this is the main salon which is need of some furniture and some curtains brand new refrigerator and microwave over there Back cabin really needs, that's where the majority of the work needs to be done. It's been painted already, but it needs a new headliner. Because this hatch leaked up top here. It's got a, a screw that needs to re be replaced in the back. We cleaned the drains last year. But it does need a new headliner. And it needs a new head back here. That hadn't been replaced yet either. This room's been painted, it's not complete. All the hardware for that goes on the front, the mask, everything is right in here. Got a mahogany ladder for the side. It's also in the, in the closet here. <clears throat> this is a sliding door that we can, you can board and you know, get on and off of the boat on the side. Some of this wood will need to be redone. Seats in good shape. Need some paint out here. You can see this is cabinets coming apart. Steer's fine. Again, the one motor is bad. The other one ran last year, as did the generator. Now the chrome vents need to be redone. You can see they're off of it. We do have them. All the vents are here. I've had this tow rail done a couple times. It's really not that hard to do. and It comes up the boat really looks good. spot for cushions to be put on front here. Up there where the horns are at, that's where that uh, mask goes. That, that's lighted also. We took it off because we had the mahogany redone. That's the sliding door right there. Great haul. With those 454s in it, it'll do 23 knots, and it really has a nice ride. It's a heavy boat. They sure don't. 
Chris Craft just started using uh, fiberglass back then, and they kind of overbuilt them. Like I say, it gives you a great ride. I've been all up and down to Chesapeake Bay in this boat. Previous owners had it up to New York and back again. Sure turns heads wherever it goes when you got her all done up. Again, this is a great boat, great ride. It just needs some needs some TLC. I really hate to part with it, but I, I'm just too busy and don't have the time to do all this. I hate to let it go, but it's being sold with no reserve. That means the high bidder will own it regardless of price. So have your funds in order. It's in a marina now, but it needs to be. It spent most of his life at the Baltimore Yacht Club, but it's at a marina now, and it's going to need to be moved from here. There are plenty of marinas around here where you can store it at. Make sure you have your, all your arrangements set up ahead of time. Again, it's a beautiful boat, 1967. 42 foot Chris Craft Commander being sold with no reserve. Don't miss this 